This retired Jacksonville Navy officer could spend the rest of his life in prison now that he's been convicted of six of eight federal charges of lying to government investigators. Those charges grew out of a search for answers in the death of civilian employee Christopher Tour, whose body was found floating in the water at Guantanamo Bay. Now that the trial is over, Tour's family is speaking out. We have waited five, been waiting over five years for answers on what happened to our brother. Unfortunately, this trial has brought us more questions. Nettleton appeared stoic when he learned the jury had found him guilty of obstruction of justice, concealment of material facts, falsification of records, and making false statements. The retired captain was the commander at the base where Tour worked. Prosecutors say Nettleton concealed an extramarital affair with Tour's wife and a brutal fight with Tour the night he disappeared. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us from the federal courthouse. Janice, Tour's loved ones say the fight for justice is not over. Yes, they say it's not over. And one of the reasons is because so far no one has been able to determine what was the cause of Christopher Tour's death. And they believe someone knows what that cause was. The lives of two men working on Guantanamo Bay are changed forever. This man, Navy Captain John Nettleton, was guilty of lying to the government to cover up what happened leading up to the death of Naval Base employee Christopher Tour. Tour's family waited five years for Nettleton's verdict. Christopher was an amazing father, brother, son, and husband, and friend. We miss him every day. This bit of this has been an, an emotional, draining, and traumatic time for our family. After the verdict, Nettleton walked out of federal court in silence. He does not want to talk about the case, but he will return to go to federal prison. The death investigation began five years ago. Tour left Nettleton's house after the two got into a fight because Nettleton had an affair with Tour's wife. Nettleton claimed Tour left his house alive. Tour was found dead in a body of water. The coroner has not determined Tour's cause of death, but federal prosecutors proved Nettleton tampered with the investigation. News for Jack's legal analyst Randy Reef says despite no murder charge, Nettleton's action convicted him. Lying to the federal government in, is in and of itself a crime. If you think about the allegations here, you don't see a lot related to somebody's passing because it was the cover-up, the behavior afterward, that really they were able to prove. And Nettleton is not in prison tonight. He's going to have a little bit of time to spend with his family, but he will be back in the courthouse very soon to be sentenced for all of those federal charges. Reporting live from the federal courthouse, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.